Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for a quick guide for Farming Simulator 19 on the perfect start from scratch. Let's dive right into the career. We're going to choose this safe game here and the start from scratch is obviously the hardest start with the most limited capital and the hardest settings. We want to go with Felsbrunn as the map just because it is the more superior of the two. We're going to do this tutorial without any mods. Let's get things started. Here we go, here we are on our map. The first thing we want to do is slow down time and then we want to have a look at the fields. What we want to make sure is that under soil composition, field 19 doesn't require plowing in the beginning. If that isn't the case, just go ahead and restart the map. I'm gonna leave all the settings on the predefined difficulty except I want my engines to start automatically. This just goes on my nerves otherwise. And we might also disable the traffic because that's just horrible but we're gonna have crop destruction, plant withering and all that good stuff in the joint. Obviously we're starting with absolutely nothing and very limited funds, however we're gonna make really grandiose purchases and in order to do that we're gonna need to borrow some money and we're actually gonna max this all the way out so we're gonna take up the entire loan of 500k. This now leaves us with a balance of 1 million which is absolutely the perfect amount. We will actually get this down to the thousands. And we're gonna have really good equipment in order to kick us off. So without any further ado, let's have a look at the shop. We're gonna take a look at the tractors. We're gonna need two tractors in total. One that is cheaper and one that is a little bit more expensive. We're gonna go with a small fence tractor right here. And we actually want to upgrade this to 550c. I also might want to equip this with a front loader so that I can ship around some pallets if necessary. We also want to make sure that this one comes with narrow tires since we're going to use this tractor in order to spread fertilizer, herbicide, etc. This is going to cost us 96,000. Let's freaking do it. As for the next tractor, we want to have a look at the medium ones. We're going to scroll over a little bit. The Massey Ferguson, by the way, I have no idea how to pronounce all of these brands, but there we go. That's the one we want. And we also want to upgrade this to 7726. I know it's expensive, but it's going to be necessary for some of the other equipment we want to purchase. So that is another 211k down the drains. Apart from our tractors, obviously, we're also going to need a harvester in order to harvest our fields. And we're not going to go with the cheapest one here either. The Massey Ferguson is totally going to be worth it. We have plenty of varieties in crop, but more importantly, a huge capacity and also header width. There we go. That is another 202k spent. Thank you. Obviously, in order to make this functional, we're going to have to have a look at the headers and we're going to have to purchase its header for another 50k. Holy cow. But the 7.6 meters are definitely worth it. The next category we're going to have a look at are the cedars. We want to make sure we have a cedar that has more functionality than just seeding. We want to make sure it cultivates and fertilizes at the same time. In order to achieve that, we're going to go with the Horsch Pronto 9DC. This bad boy is just absolutely insane with a huge width and all the functionalities I mentioned. So another 104,000 well spent. During the growth phase, we will also have to apply a secondary layer of fertilizer and also some crop protection. Let's have a look at the fertilizers first and we're going to go with the middle one for 39k. For this one, we also want to make sure it comes with narrow tires since we're going to run it through the fields. Another upgrade that might be worth it is the 6 meter spreading unit. So we can take less passes on a field in order to cover everything. 47,500. Oh yes, give me that. Next up, as mentioned, we're going to need some crop protection and we're actually going to go with this guy here, I believe, the Mega 2200 from Hardy. There are no customization options. It's 35k. Let's purchase that as well. Another thing we're definitely going to need is some weights for our tractors. We're going to go with a thousand kilograms for each of the tractors. So we want to go ahead and buy this twice. Last but definitely not least, we're going to need trailers. Let's have a look at those. We want to go with a really good one that is going to last us for a while. The TAW30 from Agroliner. 56,000 with a capacity of 45,000 liters. Absolutely insane. Let's get this guy in the joint as well. Leaving us with 197,000 in the bank still. 
let's now have a look at the map and we want to purchase field 19 for 174,000. Definitely, I want this one. Thank you very much. The last thing we technically need is a plower, but I made sure that this field doesn't require plowing in the first go, so we could technically harvest it and only after that purchase the plowing machine. However, let's see, maybe we already have enough money to purchase one. We're gonna go with a subsoiler. Yeah, we could go with the Combi Plow Gold 4M. This one isn't too expensive and it has 4 meters width. Not too shabby, I would say. There's no customization. Yeah, let's just go ahead and purchase that. So we already have all the starting equipment and now we can actually make some money. Here we go, all of our starting equipment perfectly lined up and we are actually left with 13k. Should be enough in order to fill up our cedars and everything. I'm strangely excited for this now. We're gonna go ahead, grab our first tractor here. We need the strong one in order to pull the seeding machine. First of all though, we want to make sure we have a weight attached. Let me, let me through here. Oh my gosh. Thankfully it's not that easy to destroy equipment. Got my seeder attached right here and obviously now we want to purchase some seeds. Under pallets right here, we are going to purchase one pallet of seed. Should be enough to fill up our seeder by 80% or so. We're also going to need some fertilizer, however, we do not want to go with the tank. For that, we're going to have a look at the big bags. What we want is the solid fertilizer big bag. Uh, give me one of those, please. Now, with the finesse of a gazelle, we're going to approach that fertilizer bag. And with R, we should be able to fill this up. Yeah, look at the bottom right corner. We can get this almost to 50%, I believe. With that pallet gone, we are also going to approach our seed bag, which should be hidden right behind here. There we go and fill up the seeds, hopefully to around 70% or so. Wonderful, look at that. That should be enough in order to cultivate, fertilize and seed our first field. We want to go ahead and carefully approach the field. Time to unfold this bad boy. Oh, yes. Now, what do we want to grow? It's basically up to you. I'm probably just going to go with wheat in the beginning. I believe there are always going to be some potatoes on this field. However, in order to do this task, I'm actually going to hire a worker so we can get to the other machines and already get them prepared. But this field is now being cultivated, fertilized and seeded at the same time. Absolutely worth the price. I guess the next thing we want to do is go ahead and attach the weight to our secondary tractor. We want to attach the front weight right there and if we are lucky, we should be able to attach the crop protection as well. I just have to delicately turn it around a little bit. There we go, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Wonderful, let's get back into the shop. We want pallets in this case, I believe. And the thing we want is a herbicide tank. Let's purchase one of those. We want to go ahead and fill this up immediately. Uh, there we go. This should also be using up the entirety of the pallet. There we go. And we are full with 90%. And this guy is just crazy. <laughs> you will have to see once we unfold it. Let's bring it over to the field. Right here seems to be a good spot. All right, back to the shop. We need to fill up the fertilizer as well and bring it over. There we go. Come to Papa. Another visit to the shop. Uh, no, hold on. That's not the fertilizer we want. We want a big bag solid fertilizer. Since we're already in the shop and eventually we're gonna need it, I'm also gonna purchase one lime bag. Right now, it doesn't matter what we pick up. Either we get the lime or the fertilizer, we're actually gonna unload it at our farm anyways. Jeez, that is a pathetic amount of fertilizer. Let's uh, purchase some more. We should be able to get at least one more in the joint and then slowly but surely I will have to beware of my money. Yeah, there's now 400 bucks left. I'm actually gonna make sure we can afford another lime bag this way. Wonderful. Now we're down to 40 bucks, which is absolutely perfect because we can actually go into the miners. However, as soon as we are in the miners, we will not be able to purchase anything from the shop. So now we will have to make some money. But you know, at least I got enough stuff in order to do our field multiple times. The worker over there is still doing his job wonderfully. Uh, let's go ahead and unload this bad boy. I think, uh, hold the phone. Unload is I. Okay, we can do that. There we go. We have the pellets again. Let's move back to the shop and pick up the lime as well. Want to make sure we put this a little bit farther to the right so I don't have troubles distinguishing the two. Wonderful. The cedar is almost done. Let's go ahead and pick up the rest of our equipment. There we go. Got my combi plow. Got my trailer right here. The only thing that's missing is the combine. Want to make sure we gently bring this up to the field as well. 
Et voila, all set and done, let's get out of here. Now we can basically speed up the game until we see some weeds growing here. That is going to be when the field needs some intervention. We're already gonna attach our crop protection equipment. And now it's time for the big unfold. Oh, I just love this. Uh, the machinery in this game is just absolutely amazing. So it's really good we don't start with the lowest of the lowest, even in the start from scratch difficulty. Alrighty, we have reached the first growth stage. This would be a good opportunity to fertilize the field a second time. However, the way the field started in this safe game, we already have it fertilized 100%, so there's nothing else we can do. But usually, you want to fertilize your field once more during any of the additional growth stages. Now we're just waiting for the weeds to pop up in order to get the crop protection done for this harvest. For the ease of these videos, I set the economic difficulty to easy and plant growth to normal. Just as a little FYI. Ah, there we go. I can see the weeds growing. They are approaching me. Unfortunately, we didn't make it before nighttime. Since this is going to be a pain in the butt during the nighttime, I'm also going to hire a worker for that. Oh yeah. He's going to do that more efficiently than me anyways. But we can now see on the map, we are taking care of the wheat. All the fields actually have some wheat on them. That probably means we could also get a bunch of contracts in the joint just weeding the fields. So if we have a look at that, well, at the moment only field 6 needs some weeding. But this is definitely another 3k we could just go ahead and do very easily. In case we needed money. But actually we had enough for everything, so I'm not gonna complain. Yeah, finding the line during the night time would have been a pain in the butt. But anyway, I'm gonna meet you right back once we're done weeding this field. Task is completed, let's fold this guy, speed up time again and wait for the crop to finish its growth stages. Whoop, there we go, that was the next stage of growth. At around midnight we will have to pay for our loan interest, however, it is no problem at all to go into the minus for wages and loan interest. All that is preventing us from doing is purchasing more stuff at the shop. But with our first harvest, we should be able to get back into the green. Ah, wonderful. Fresh new morning. We can finally see things again. I always feel like God with the clouds. Go fast. <laughs> yeah, this is why I set the economy to easy. I mean, I do like myself some farming. Or a grind, I mean. But at a certain point, we just have to draw the line. Oh, there we go. The field has grown. That's what I'm talking about. Slow down time and let's harvest this. Before we get this started, I want to make sure we disable the straw swath since we do not have means of picking up the straw anyways. And I'm actually also going to hire a worker for that just because I feel lazy right now. But obviously if you want to min-max certain things and also play the game as intended, you might want to do that yourself. However, what you could also do while this is being harvested is just take one of your machines and finish a contract in order to gain some extra money. Harvesting is usually not worth it, however, the sowing might be worth it. And also the fertilizing. I mean, field 20 is right at our border and it's gonna take like two passes with our equipment. Yeah. As a matter of fact, let's accept this contract and do it. Gonna grab my fertilizer spreader and fill this up with some fertilizer. We can actually already go ahead and unfold this. Field 20 is right here up to the north. Let's go ahead, turn on the spreader and give this some good fertilization. There we go, we should be able to finish this with one more pass. There it is, contract on field 20 finished. And just enough time left in order to grab our trailer and empty the harvester. Obviously we cannot drive through the field with this trailer, so we have to make sure we are always to the left of the combine, as it is doing its pass back to the road. Fortunately enough, this field doesn't require any plowing, otherwise I would have started the plowing process right now. In this case, we're gonna reattach our cedar right here and already get it into position. It's too early to get it started yet, it's gonna catch up to the combine, but why not try to make good use of our time? Get this into position right here. We're gonna go for barley next as our next crop. I believe we still have to collect the money from the contract. Absolutely wonderful. There's nothing else I want to do right now. That means I'm gonna be right back once we have completed harvesting this field. See ya in a second. Said and done. We have our entire field harvested and in the trailer. I already set up my cedar to get the next crop planted. It is now time to have a look at the prices. We have some wheat. At the moment, the prices don't seem to be very good. We're just gonna go with the highest price. Right now, we cannot be too picky. We don't even have a silo to store things anyways. 
So the grain mill it is. With the grain mill marked we actually get this beacon very convenient. This way I know which fields I have to drive through. Unfortunately it is not possible to sabotage the other farmers. Oh well, I guess we cannot have everything. Here we are, the Krebacher Mühle. Time to unload and get the money. Oh yes, we are in the positive, more than in the positive, enough to purchase some more fertilizer, lime, etc. All we basically need. That was 35,000 in the joint. Not too bad, I would argue. We're gonna park our trailer back here. Now, the next thing I would probably purchase is a front loader. If we go all the way to the right here, we should see it. There it is, front loaders. Obviously, we want one that actually fits our tractor, which I believe they all do, but they have different requirements for horsepower. Our purchase tractor actually has a horsepower of 150, which is absolutely perfect. We should be able to go with the 8K front loader right there. Let's buy that. There are actually many attachments to be had, but what I'm after is the pallet fork. I'm gonna release my weight at this point and actually attach it to the back of my tractor. So this goes right here. Let's pick up the pallet fork. Here we are. Wanna first go ahead and attach the front loader and then obviously the pallet fork as well. I already purchased a pallet to bring over and that is exactly what we're gonna do. Obviously bringing each pallet back to our farm individually is going to be a pain in the butt and very tedious. However, if you don't like pain in the butt and tedious, this is not a game for you. This is another reason I like this map so much, because the starting fields are really close to the shop. But yeah, here we go. Now we can just bring our pallets to the farm. Uh, okay, perfect placement I would say, but you get the basic gist. Of course, what you can always do is bring the equipment to the shop and fill up the fertilizer there, but I kind of appreciate the pallet fork and having the ability to do that. So for me, it's kind of a roleplay process. What are you gonna do? All right, guys, I think with that out of the way, we have a solid start in the joint. Now I just need to wait for this field to grow. The fertilization is now at 50%, which means at the next stage, we will have to fertilize it in order to get the maximum amount. There's also going to be a time when we need to lime it, however, that is still not the case. But we have all the equipment for the different tasks, so even liming the field isn't gonna be an issue for us. Alright guys, with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching. If you want this kind of guide series to continue, let me know. And we're gonna continue with a little let's play in the same format as this episode. So there's gonna be a lot of things that I cut out in order to make it more interesting for you guys. If you want that, please let me know in the comment section. I definitely would also appreciate a like and even subscribe if you haven't yet, you would make my day. Thank you so much, have a great time and see you in the next video. Bye bye.